And now it's time for Southern California Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha of Boards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hook Up. Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod. Rick Maxa is out of town. Again, he'll be back in a, in a week or so. But Corey Sandin is here, our new co-host, as you just heard Shotgun Tom say. He's even a part of the Open now. How about that? Uh, today we have Mr. Jeff Mariani from Cedros Kayak Fishing, Ron Lane from Path Lane Kayaks. So we're going to be talking kayak fishing, Cedros Island, and a lot more. You stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. You've heard all about it. You know the angler's catching fish habit. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. FishDope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com is for everyone, whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat. FishDope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot fight icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have FishDope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new FishDope.com membership. Check it out today. FishDope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges, how do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is is your target. The expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge ling cod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check Kingfisher Charters Com. There are plenty of boat slips and marinas in San Diego, but there is only one Kona Kai. It's not just a place to park your boat. It's a way of life here in America's finest city. Come check out what's new at the Kona Kai. 170 luxury guest rooms, including 41 brand new suites featuring contemporary island-inspired decor, deep soaking tubs, and oversized balconies. The Kona Kai Resort Spa and Marina has multiple swimming pools and a private beach, waterfront restaurants, and an award-winning spa, most of which which is included for marina tenants. Add the Kona Kai Club to your membership and you have access to the new Paloma Pool Bar, a new and exclusive pool area for adults only, which allows guests to enjoy poolside craft cocktails in California coastal cuisine while overlooking your boat. In addition to all this, Kona Kai is the closest marina to the open ocean. Check resortkonakai.com on the web for more information to reserve a slip or inquire about joining the club. The Kona Kai Resort, much more than just a place to park your boat. All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup, and good morning, Pete. Nice to be morning, here. Good morning, Corey. Great to have you. It's uh, been a busy week this week. You know, everybody's in the Christmas craziness mode, and, uh, you know, it's so nice being able to say we get to stay home for Christmas when you look at those airports and all the craziness going on. It's like, why would we leave paradise? 70 degrees and else, sunny, right? right? <laughs> huh? Yeah. You know, we're fishing, we're surfing, we're... We're enjoying beautiful sunshine, and everybody else is freezing. 
So we're all good. No complaints. Yeah, we're all good. Hey, great to have our buddies in the studio. Jeff Mariani from Sedros Kayak Fishing. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Pete. And, of course, our buddy Ron Lane from Fast Lane Kayaks. Good morning, Ron. Good morning, guys. Merry yeah. Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. So uh, so great to have you guys. Jeff, you were showing us pictures of all the stuff you're doing at the island uh, right now. Wow. Yeah. Sedros Kayak Fishing is going crazy. Yeah. You know, we got, we're... Uh, you know, going into our third year next year, and uh, it seems like we're, like, redoing everything down there right now. So, yeah, we have a nice little addition going. Third year already? Isn't that amazing? Wow. Yeah. Guys like you were on your fourth year. You know, oh, you helped me break yeah. it in. Oh, so. yeah, for sure. No, it's yeah. it's been fantastic. All the new uh, Hobie Outbacks are down there, thanks to uh, the Fast Lane Ron. The brand new Hobie Outbacks. Yeah. You yeah. have all new. The, the not the, Last year's model, which I love, it's, it's, it is – is great, but use I, I got to get the new one. So you hooked up with Ron and yeah, no, with. that wasn't my doing. That was Ron saying this is what we're doing. So uh, wow. he's taking care of this it's whole a game project. changer. Yeah, they're what, beautiful boats. Wow, it's amazing. Well, okay, you know? give us while while we're on that subject. What's the difference between the old Outback? Which was, there's nothing wrong with the old Outback. No, the, and I, the new Outback. It's still a great boat. Yeah, and I felt kind of funny, you know, when Hobie said that they were going to be coming out with a new one. I'm going, man. How do you take the number one seller and change it? Mm-hmm. I, you know, and, and you better do a good job if yeah. you do that. Otherwise, you're under grave scrutiny. So every single feature on the boat is better. Such as? Double-handed steering. Mm-hmm. So now you guys have pro anglers. You get on an outback, you got double-handed steering. It so really helps. All the storage. Another thing is that rudder being underneath and protected. It's so much more nimble particularly fishing structure where we do in Cedros. Yep, now the 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 reverse the 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 Mirage Drive 180 has just been a hit. Yeah, it's, that's, that's that's standard that's in standard, but now it's standard with turbo fins. With turbo So the fins. price went up a little bit, but, the, but but you're getting the upgrades to go with it. That's right. Absolutely. So it's kind of like, wow. And, and money. It's, it's more stable too. More right? stable and the bottom seat the seat that that the Vantage seat has a little bit bigger on the bottom. So the bottom part, it, it makes it easier to turn around and get into your bait tank. Really? So it's a little bit wider. It's about an inch and a half wider. And it's funny. It, it just feels more it comfortable. So I don't, I don't so, know. I don't know. I just think one of the major things was that finer bow. You know, the, the Outback was going through, like when you're fishing La Jolla late in the afternoon and you're getting bumpy, that thing would pound a little bit. Kind of drove me nuts. And now it just cuts through similar to the Revolution 13, which is a very popular boat, great boat. But when you put those two features on the Outback, it's a hit. Yeah, that's cool. So, and weight-wise, out, uh, old Outback versus new Outback? Same. One pound. Same. One, One pound. pound. Yeah. Which makes them very transportable. No, it, it's right? easier, though. It's lighter. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. They put the wheels in the right spot. Yeah. So when you uh, plug it and you're rolling it around, it's balanced. Well, that's, yeah. You don't have to take your bait tank out to put the beach wheels in. Oh. The handle, too, across the back is like the pro angler, so that's just a lot easier to maneuver the heavier end of the boat, too, like for two guys. So, so for you at Cedros, it's oh, yeah, be we're loving a thing. game changer. Absolutely. Yeah. So there are other big events happening at Cedros, too. There, there are, you know, we have a, a nice addition uh, that we're doing, adding on a couple rooms, and that's all due to the new plane, you know, flying up here from Southern California, like that's like the biggest, you know, thing for us, uh, you know, going to be down there, you know, we leave here at 7 a.m. and we're on the island by 10, you know what I mean, wow. so we're fishing right away. Um, and yeah, you can clear right there at Cedros? So what we do is we'll fly an uh, hour and 20 minutes, we land in San Felipe. Oh, in San Felipe. And uh, all the paperwork's done. The pilot has been going there for a long time, so everything's called in in advance. We we just show up, pay our little fee, sign the visa. We're on our way. Hour and 20 minutes, we're on the island. So wow. basically, leave there at 7. By 10, you're on the island. On the island. What a beautiful deal, really. I mean, oh, that, it's awesome. That, yeah. the, the, the whole thing going through TJ and going to Ensenada, I mean, that's, there, there's difficulties involved, and you don't know time restraints, and you're on, quote-unquote, Mexico time, yes, right? You are. So, yes, you are. You know, leaving from Temecula, is it? Exactly. So anywhere from Southern California, it's 45 minutes to less than an hour, right. really, from yeah. anywhere in Southern California. Yes. And hopping on a plane and being a Cedros for that, for lunch, and 
kayaking? Are you kidding me? Yeah, or you fishing know, and I, I never mm-hmm. minded the trip down there with Jeff. It's like you're going down with your fishing buddy, and you stop, you have tacos or that breakfast. It's great. I like that. But that bonus time, that bonus oh, yeah. fish that first day, yeah. you get down there, and you're jonesing to go fishing. You put your gear on that kayak, and you're out fishing that quick. Absolutely. Make me very happy. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like I've been telling everyone, like, don't, like, dress up to come fly with us. Like, wear your fishing clothes because the quicker we get ready once we're on the island is the quicker we're in my ponga and going to Punta Norte. Like, that's where or wherever, Pierre the Colorado, wherever we have to go. Like, it's a unlimited day um, fishing right away. Like, Bonus so, day. So you yeah, can absolutely. fish either kayak or ponga when you're a single kayak. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just built a brand new 28-foot ponga that's actually 28 up. 28 foot? Yeah, it's so beautiful. Wow. Tons of room. Just tons of room. So that's up here right now in Cali. It's going to get all fully rigged with a new Mercury motor and um, all my pumps and all that wow. kind of stuff. Maybe a T-top I might call. She can go on down here in San Diego and see if he wants to hook it up. So, and then and then you can also not only fish from the ponga, but you can do a combo trip where you put the kayaks on the ponga, put some guys in the water on the on the kayaks, and some guys fish from the ponga. Yeah, absolutely. We, we I just do whatever anybody the group wants to do. You know what I mean? If we just as long as we plan it out, you want to kayak fish today and uh, fish from the ponga tomorrow, or half a day in the kayaks. You know, we just. Let's just use all the stuff and have a great time. Basically, to, to give you an works. example, one morning we left real early. You know, we're watching the sun come up, leaving the harbor. We had already made bait, and we we're catching yellowtail. What five miles from where we left the harbor and made bait? Yeah. And then, you know, we pulled on. We each caught a big yellowtail, and then we still moved over, launched the kayaks, and fished calicos all afternoon. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. That sounds like my speed right there. It, unbelievable. <laughs> you okay with that? Right? Corey, yeah. Like, bring it on, man. That, it and so and I know, like, not far from town is really good halibut fishing, like, from the shore. Oh, absolutely. Know? Yeah, right. Just right there. Right outside of town, yeah. And yeah. They're, they're actually biting right now. Like, and, there was plenty and, of guys. And not right now? Yeah, yeah. There was lots of fish being caught on white plastics while I was down That's there this last crazy. week. That's so. crazy. And not small ones. I mean, I, I've done it uh, from the skip trips and, and 10 to 20 pounders like, Absolutely. right there. Yeah, yeah. Guys are getting tens from the shore all the time. Yeah, yeah. man. It's super fun. Super well, fun the, the advantage of you, too, is if the wind's blowing... You have a trailer too that you can throw the kayaks on. We've done it before, where you get absolutely. You yeah. know, if the wind's blowing on the on the the lee side, we can go to the other side where it's more protected and launch still launch the kayaks. Absolutely, in flat yeah. calm weather. If something happens and the poor captain closes our harbor or something like that, yeah, we'll load up the trailer and the truck and drive over to the fish camps. It's a great experience. It is a great everyone experience. that's gone is just you know. Loved Everybody it. who's gone has signed up again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, oh, at, at some issue. point, at there some point we're going to have a problem here, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, at some point, I think the problem is happening. Right now. Yeah. It's already there. Cause the both get a little you know, worried. Yeah, there's a lot of interest. You guys in probably people. won't like this. You shouldn't go. <laughs> both of our 2019 trips are already sold out, right? I think there's one spot left uh, in the August trip. But August, okay. Yeah, I'll confirm that with Carrie. All right, because right. here's the deal. You only take four. Yeah, we're doing four at a time right now on the new plane. Uh, so uh, how many will, five the, with the, will the plane right? hold? Uh, so he has two options for me. Um, basically, if we get to once I you know get this thing rolling more and we're doing six people at a time because I have two pongas that are going to be three guys and three guys. So either your ponga fishing or your kayak fishing, whatever you want to do, you know. Um, so then we would move up to his uh, the bigger plane that's more like business class style, like ridiculous, yeah, beautiful. But right now we're flying on the twin engine. Um, I think it's called a Piper Aztec. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So zippy little thing, you know, gets us down here and like, wow. You know, basically, you know, two hours and forty minutes of flight time. You know what I mean? So from Gee. Temecula, which is pretty from nice. Temecula. It's going home when we're really going to appreciate this thing. You know what I mean? When no border weight. No nothing. You know, we land in Calexico is where he comes back. We That's clear customs. Place. It takes five minutes. Wow. Basically, and then another 30 minutes if you land in Temecula. We'll be back in Temecula by 1 p.m., 1.30 maybe at the latest in the afternoon. And uh, so basically an hour to L.A., hour to San Diego, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it should be should be really nice. There's been a lot of interest. I've been getting calls from people that have been going to Cedros for several years, and they just like this idea, you know what I mean? It's like the new Cedros, kind of the new experience, getting down there a different route. People that weren't comfortable traveling in Mexico are now, they've been calling me, and showing a lot of interest because it's 
so simple. You know, yeah, because you're not dealing with what we were describing, that There's Tijuana, no Mexican the Ensenada. Travel. Exactly. And, no Mexican and, road travel, nothing. No uncertainties. Know. It's you're, you're on your time, the departures Absolutely, set you know. by Jeff. And, yeah, and you're getting ready. Like, we show up at the airport, safe, free parking, right by the hangar, and you're getting ready in this guy's private hangar. It's like so it's cool. Like Chris uh, Menick, is, who's here with us today, like, he's – he test drove it basically for us, and, ah. and uh, you know, it's the pictures were pretty funny. You know, the floor is all epoxy floor, and there's Chris with his rods and the bags and everything, and everyone's getting ready, you know. And then the guy uses – everyone gets out of the way. Guy uses a golf cart and rolls the plane outside, and then you get in and you go. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> And the nice. guy was, like, so excited. Our pilot, he was so excited that first day that they took off, and he forgot his own bag. Oh, so he had to go back and land. And then they got to take off again. So Get ready to go. So yeah. fun. It's just, it's incredible. The Safe you know I mean? experience is so amazing. And so when you add that level oh, of convenience yeah. and the flexibility that you have at Sedros Kayak Fishing, there's, you know, with, everyone gets their own room, you know what I mean, which is real important to me. It's it's like you're staying at my what? personal house. You wow. Know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's just a different experience, you know what I mean. Smaller groups, you know, we're definitely the small group specialists by yeah. far, you know what I mean. Like we just, I like showing Handmade people Sedros. Oh, absolutely, everything. You know, yeah. We eat a lot of fish, but I'm not, you know, my wife packs us up from Costco, you know, she'll go to Albertsons and get the shish kebabs and all that kind of fun stuff. Like, So I know what we're eating, you know what I mean, the bags of salad and stuff like that. Yeah. So, you know, keep it safe. Like, what an like intimate that. deal. I mean, really, like you and a few of your best buddies and like your put together. Best, your you know crazy I mean? uncle. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's <really> fun. <laughs> That's funny, Ron. Yeah. And we like it. It's fun. Oh, I'm addicted. We like our crazy uncle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So, uh, fast lane, man. You guys have been busy. I mean, just moving kayaks like it, crazy. Yeah, it's amazing. It's the Hobie guys keep stepping it up, and they keep making new stuff. And you know, you're. I'm a little bit, you know, going. Well, what are they going to do next? Yeah. But this new Outback is a killer deal. I mean, it's they're great and I, they're perfect price. And the other thing that really took us by surprise the last three seasons was the I-11, that inflatable, inflatable. yeah, inflatable. and the and the the ability to put that in a bag quickly. You know, one of the things is is blowing something up that you, you always figure, oh, that's the part they show you. They don't show you putting it back in the bag. Like how easy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so it actually goes back in the bag a minute faster, and it goes up. Really? And no other inflatables do that. It no. just cracks me up. And this boat fishes really well. So guys that are Very getting stable. them for their wives, to, you know, hey, here's a little Christmas hunt. Yeah, it's for the honey. wife, honey, right? Hey, uh, hey, maybe I'll just slip that in when we go on vacation if there's a lake up there or mm-hmm. something. Hey, you can <laughs> throw it in the back of the trunk of your car. That's you right. Throw it on your boat. You can throw it basically anywhere that's, and have that's an what's 11 that. foot Mirage Drive kayak at your disposal. Boy, I'm telling you. It weighs, what, 50 50 pounds? Yeah, it's 50 pounds. You can check it as luggage. You know, you can fly somewhere with it. I mean, one of the guys at our store flew to... This probably has one. You have one? You have two. (laughs) (laughs) They're pretty awesome. Well, Chris also, when when we heard about the new Outback and we saw it, he called me up and says, I want the first one. (laughs) So he he actually bought the first Outback on the West Coast. Yeah. Nice. First Chris, day they were step available. Step up the mic here just a second. This is Chris Minnick, who's uh, been on the show before. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Okay. First of all, what do you think of the new Outback? Well, I uh, fished with it yesterday. Uh, forgot my meter, so so I was fishing blind, and it actually made me focus more just on on the boat itself. I fished out of the the original Outback for ten years. Uh, uh, and and love it. Yes. And uh, I have a Pro Angler 12 too, but it's a bit big for me. Uh-huh. The the new Outback feels like a Pro Angler 12 when you're sitting on it. Really. But it has the same nimbleness of of uh, uh, maybe even more nimble. And I, I asked Ron when we were driving over here this morning. I said. Is it possible that the the new one's like eight inches longer, ten inches longer? No, I think it's yeah, eight. Yeah. So so I said, is it possible that it's faster than the old one? Because I had that sensation when I was out on the water, but I didn't have my meter, so I couldn't look and see what how fast I was actually going. And he said, yeah, it's faster. Wow. And and uh, I I saw a tennis ball floating in the water, 
and and I wanted to maneuver around it. And you know how the current's moving you one way, sure. and you think you're getting next to it, and then you're not. I was able to maneuver really easily with it wow. to get to pull out the with that new ball. rudder. That yeah, Rod yeah, was yeah. About. yeah. The, the whole thing is way cool. Just and and you have the I-11. Couple I, of them. I have two of them. I love them. Love those two. I, I, Where's where do where do you decide which kayak to put in the in the well, in, on the truck? Well, 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 the 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 I-11 uh, is really suitable for going anywhere where it's not easy to get access. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I have a, a couple of uh, uh, teenage friends who who will take an I-11 and throw it over a fence. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Then, oh, okay, a little go, poaching going on. <laughs> you know, so, so, and, and it would be ideal for, for going up to, to Mammoth. Or I, I have some, some bass lakes up, uh, up above Lone Pine uh, that, that it's ideal. You know, you have to physically carry stuff through the reeds or across ditches. And yeah. So, it, it's just it, it only it's only 36 pounds I think when when it's not in the bag wow. and so you can carry it anywhere. anywhere. Uh, That's yeah. cool. Yeah, neat he's drawn up my kind of adventure. Yeah, I like no it. kidding. Now, now and then. So on the other subject, how many times have you been to Sedros kayak fishing? Uh, a dozen, I think. Uh, and, uh, and what do you think of Sedros? <clears throat> what, what Jeff's done down? Well, there? well, I I used to go to El Salto. I went to El Salto 15 times. I love El Salto. That's yeah. really cool. Talking my speed again. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But 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 the fishing got so heavily hit down there that I mean I was always catching a double digit bass uh, uh, for like. You just don't see them. But 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 then I stopped catching them, and uh, so the first time I went with Jeff to to Cedros, I just turned to to Ron and I said I'm going to make this my new El Salto. Ah. Uh, and 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 I have. Uh, and, and it's it's I love the island. I love the people. Uh, I I love the atmosphere. Jeff has created literally like a mini little you know resort yes, kind of thing. Yeah. It's not fancy, but it's really comfortable. And just just the whole atmosphere. Everybody's hanging out together. The crew's hanging out there. You know, we're all is 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 just a, a thoroughly enjoyable experience. And then. You you know where where else can you go and be able to catch a yellowtail in five feet of water? Jeff and I were throwing SP minnows to to try to uh, catch calico bass, and I got bit and my line just took off and this fish was having its way with me. I threw SP in five feet of water. Five feet. And uh, long story short, 20 minutes later, and I just put it in reverse and started backing out away from the shore and I thought there's no way I'm going to land this fish I have no idea what it was but I it didn't dawn on me that it could be a yellowtail I wonder if it's a white sea bass or what I I finally got it you know up to the surface holy crap that's a huge yellow it was it turned out to be 31 pound yellow 31 pound beautiful yellow. Like five feet of water beautiful wow. well that's Cedros I mean he's yeah, catch giant yellows there is un- unreal well as you can hear we have a great show lined up for you today. Just tons of great stuff, right, Corey? Awesome show. I mean, talking Cedros, talking with Jeff, talking about Hobie Kayaks with Ron, the adventures from Chris. I mean, are you kidding me? And yeah. We'd, we'd love for you to join us. Give us a shout at 877-792-1090 or 858-457-1090. We're giving away a full-day trip out of Seaforth on the San Diego. How about that? I mean, how about that? So yeah. give us a shout. We're having a good time in studio. We have a fun two hours ahead of us with, with Ron and with Jeff and with Chris, and we'll be right back. Let's talk hook up on the Mighty 1090. Happy holidays from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. This is Doug Kern. Nothing could be better for that saltwater angler on your list than a gift from Fisherman's Landing Tackle and Shimano. We have the best Shimano has to offer, including Talica, Trinidad A, Therese, Stella, Tranks, Terramar, Colt Sniper, Torium, Tiagra, Flatfall, and much more from Shimano. Bottom line, we have the most complete selection of Shimano saltwater tackle and the knowledge to help you pick out the perfect gift. Check out our huge selection at Saltwater Tackle. Tackle.com or come by and see us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. I got a garage full of fishing tackle, and every time I get out on the water, I realize I forgot something important. But I never forget my life jacket. I make sure my buddies wear theirs, too. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. 
When you put on a pair of Maui Gym sunglasses, the world begins to look different. Colors are more vivid. Contrast is clearer. Details are crisper. Wherever your vision leads you, beauty follows. With polarized lenses that eliminate glare and enhance color, Maui Gym sunglasses won't change the world. They'll change the way you see it. Color. Clarity. Detail. Maui Gym. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. The main emphasis on the ranch, we're going to keep it old style. We're not going to change anything. We're just going to improve what we have. The kitchen is brand new. Brand new kitchen this year. We're all new uh, kitchen equipment, new stoves, ovens. We put a new freezer in. We've put in uh, all brand new split air conditioners with thermostats to make sure every room is cold. We've also worked on the boat fleet with a couple large lures, a 31 and a 34. We've got the uh, largest super ponga fleet on the East Cape, all with brand new Yamaha. Baja Motors. Brand new beds. We've got all sort of beds. The best beds in Baja, I kid you not. We're working all the time at the ranch. We're not changing it, just making it a lot better. That's why we get the high trip advisor reviews. It's my responsibility. i got to take care of you. I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. RanchoLeonero.com. Our new reservation phone number is 800-646-2252. 646-Baja. Hey everybody, this is Captain Dwayne Diego, four-pack charter captain, here to talk to you about Parker Boats and the good folks at West Coast Marine. When it came time to start Pinnacle Sport Fishing and get my own boat, there was only one choice. I wanted a Parker, and there's a real good reason for it, the fishability and seaworthiness. I've been fishing on Parkers for years now, and I know the abuse they can take. Parker Marine builds a heavy-duty, industrial-strength boat, probably overbuilt, but that's what I need when we're out 12 hours a day, over 300 days a year, running charters. The guys at West Coast Marine built me one heck of a fishing boat. From the custom tower with steering and throttle controls to the backup bait pump system, my Parker 2520 XLD will deliver me to the fishing grounds reliably and safe. Take it from me. If you're ready for a new Parker at a fair, upfront, honest deal, you need to see Kevin Kelly at West Coast Marine, located at 1555 Newport Boulevard in Costa Mesa, or check them out and their inventory and information online at westcoastmarine.com. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. All right. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. And you, you, we've got a couple lines open there on 858 uh, 457 1090. You want to give us a shout and talk to Ron, talk to Jeff, talk to Cedros Fishing, talk Hobie. In addition to the full day trip out of Seaforth on the San Diego, Ron has stepped up to the plate for uh, Jared. I'm sure Jared will take good care of you with yep. uh, a salty crew package, too, for a second caller. So what are we going to put on that salty crew package, Ron? Well, you know, the typical cool Actually, hat, make the, It's sweatshirt. a one package, so it's one winner today. Right. Okay, so one, one winner. The, you're okay. going to get the full day trip on the San Diego Damn. as well as the salty crew okay. package. Yeah. There you go. And they can be sporting a nice hat and sweatshirt and T-shirt. Nice, from Salty Crew. That's right. Which you sell at Fastlane, which oh, we got tons uh, I of sport it. them all the time. And, you, you know, you're sporting one right now. So. Woohoo! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right. Hey, Jack Nielsen's on the line. What's up, Jack? Hey, listen. Chris Minnick. Uh, <laughs> Ron, you are really fortunate to have this guy on your team. This guy is a fisherman from the get-go. You got that right. <laughs> Little known fact, Chris and I, even before Dave and Doug, my sons were totally involved, they were still in college, Chris and I started the development of fishing gaps for accurate fishing products. Uh, you remember, Chris? I absolutely do, and I remember the first knurled handled gaff you, <laughs> you created, which we... <laughs> Uh, Joe Berrien on Bongo's gaffed uh, a, a good-sized Mako, and the line wrapped around the handle and instantly sawed it off because he had knurled the handle like it was sandpaper. And Joe said, Joe immediately handed it back Jack, Jack and said, this is a very nice gaff, but this handle won't work. Yeah, so, and then you went back to rev development, right? Oh, yeah. We, I used to, to put stuff together. And I'd go over to Chris's house, and uh, we we just throw our brains back and forth, and uh, and just do stuff. And that was that, that was the original genesis, actually, of accurate fishing rods. I just wanted to What's find the accurate gas. That, That's what you started. Yeah, at. the accurate gas. And exactly. And I, do you I, even make Do you I, even make gaffs anymore? No, no, no. We're, we're done with yeah, that. Yeah. We, Afco we, we Afco's had, taken that over for sure. Yeah, we make hooks. The big uh, 
uh, gap hooks for the long range fleet, uh, for the, the really the 200 pound tuna, that kind of stuff. But I just want to say hi to Chris. Chris is a one of a kind, <laughs> good friend for many, many years. And uh, I just want to put that out that he was with us when we first started. So that's we always cool. keep a, a special place in our heart for Chris Minnie. That, that's and, cool. Thanks. We Jack. feel the same way. Absolutely. Okay, Chris. Absolutely. Merry That's Christmas right. to you, Jack. Thanks for the contribution. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, Merry Christmas All to you. All right. Thank Thanks. You. Appreciate Bye-bye. that very much. All right. On the line right now, we have a gentleman named Creaky Tiki. And Creaky has put together a beautiful book called The Inside Guide to Long Range Fishing. Good morning, Creaky. Hey, good morning, Pete. How are you guys? Great, great. So tell us about this beautiful book you put together. Well, I remember my first three medium long range trips. Now I thought I was prepared, but when I got out there, I realized I had way too much of the wrong stuff and not nearly enough of the right stuff. And when we did get into some wild wahoo fishing and some of the big tuna fishing, I wasn't quite prepared for the differences from that to the party boat and private boat fishing I was used to. And it's something I carried with me over the years. And as I keep going on trips, I see the new and novice anglers experiencing kind of the same thing. And I thought, I wish I'd have had something that would have helped me get through that learning curve and helped me be a little bit more comfortable, have a better experience in those first few trips. So the book came together, and hopefully it will work as an information guide for people that are just getting into long-range, medium-range fishing, for people that are getting into some of the stand-up fishing for the bluefin tuna, and should really hopefully help them have a much better experience and, and better outcomes. That's cool. Now, the nice thing about uh, that we actually passed the book around this morning that, that, that a lot of people comment is, is, is the current nature of the book. The book has got a lot of new stuff in it, new photos, new tackle, new techniques. A lot of the stuff that you see right now are, is so outdated, and things have changed in the long-range world so much, as we know, and it changes every day. But that's one of the things I really like about the book is the is the current nature, and everybody in the in the room Absolutely. commented about that. Now, the other thing I really like are Creaky's tips, and uh, that's uh, th- that's something you know. This book is designed for the not for the experienced guy that's been out. This is the guy that is maybe a little bit intimidated about going on his first long range trip, and this is going to help you kind of take some of those butterflies away, right? Exactly. It, it, hopefully, it's a better experience for them for the experienced fishermen they're fishing around and for the crew. And others, when the crew's telling them what they have to do or what's going on, they'll have a much better idea of what's going on, and it'll be better for everybody, hopefully. Yeah, so Creaky's Tips. You have, throughout the books, little uh, blue areas in the book that say Creaky's Tips. Tell us about those. <laughs> well, over the years, you know, experienced fishermen, crew members, captains, they're always sharing information with us. I mean, my gosh, there's nobody more knowledgeable about what's going on out there than the crews and the captains of those boats that see it every day. And they share that with you. So I, every trip I just made notes because I was, you know, doing some, uh, some articles for the outdoor magazines. And I just made notes and also all of a sudden I realized I thought this could be really valuable for the people that are going out. So I started recording those tips and, and, you know, keeping lists of them. And it just uh, seemed to me to be a good addition to the book as things that have helped me a lot. And, Hopefully, it'll help other anglers out there the same way. Indeed, it's an easy read. It's a it's a very great uh, pictures. You did a fantastic job, Creaky. Where can we get the book? Well, well, Pete, Corey, I've tried to get it in all the major tackle shops and landings uh, in Southern California. Pretty much all of them have it right now. Have it in stock. And listen, the the tackle shops are our absolute best source for the most current information for what's happening. I mean. It's ne- I've never failed to get great info, get great intel from the tackle shops, especially at the landings before a trip, on what's happening, what you need. So they have the book right now. It's available through them. If somehow the local shop doesn't have it, uh, they can get it online through eBay, but uh, it will cost you more. So your best deal is to hit your local tackle shop or landing. They should have the book, and if not, they can certainly get them from me. We'll make sure they have them in stock. A great Christmas gift, yeah. Dickie. Yeah, very, very good. All right. Well, for twenty-one bucks, come on. Yeah. We're talking fishing, aren't we? Everybody yeah. needs this book. <laughs> All right. So get it at your local tackle store. Like Creaky says, support your local tackle store. We always encourage that here 
on Let's Talk Hookup, no doubt about it. Creaky, thanks a lot. Great job on the Long Range Fishing Book. Check it out at your local tackle store, and Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. And, Pete, if I could add one more thing, I did donate six signed copies to the show for tomorrow. That's a little extra bonus gift for the best callers and the best stories for the Christmas show. More than happy to put those in, so hopefully uh, you guys can include those in the gift package. Yeah, indeed. Uh, yes, you bet. We're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, Mark Wish from Pacific Edge is uh, with our Christmas Spectacular tomorrow. We'll wait to hear some of the gifts we're giving away. Oh, boy. Uh, and, and one of them is going to include a book, that, uh, that new book, the Inside, uh, the Inside Guide to Long Range Fishing from Creaky Tiki. Thanks, Creaky. Appreciate that very much. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Corey. And thanks for all you do for us fishermen and fisherwomen. All right. Appreciate the call this morning very much. Let's go ahead and jump on those jam-packed phones, Corey. They That's, want to talk to they are, our guests here. They are, and they're packing up, Pete. Let's uh, jump into it. Dennis. Dennis is calling from Norwalk. Good morning. Let's, welcome uh, to Let's Talk Hookup this morning. Thanks for getting us started, Dennis. Yes. I want to wish everyone a, a happy New Year and a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Okay. On the trip you're talking about, Going to the island there, uh, you're talking about the yellowtail fishing. I'd just like to know after you catch a yellowtail, a lot of the, the boats, they have a way of putting their fish inside the, uh, cooler or the freezer. Right, so you're asking how do they, when you catch one from the kayak or on the ponga, when you catch a nice grade yellowtail and you want to take it home which you can oh absolutely um absolutely. how do you care for it so for for us uh the ponga is always around if we're kayak fishing so we always have the support boat around um so what we like to do is as you're fighting your fish you know everyone has a vhf radio we have you call out uh so we can come over and we start taking photos and stuff like that um if you're releasing your fish you know we just you know pull it up on your lap we take a bunch of photos and then you know you get your hook out and you let it go but if we're keeping it you gaff it, or if you want us to gaff it, I'm usually right there, too. Um, we gaff your fish. Uh, we give it to, back to you so you take some photos because we want to capture the moment for you. And then the ponga immediately takes it. We, you, we never want fish in your lap for very long or, like, never hanging off the back of your boat or anything like that because there's way too many seals and other things that want, want that. that yeah, sea fish. lions. Absolutely. <laughs> sea lions, yeah. uh, so then we bleed it. Um, Ramon or Balam, one of the captains, they'll, uh, they cut inside the belly there. They cut that, and then they cut all the gills out and pull basically the guts and the gills out at the same time, and nice. then we flush it really well. And then immediately in our game bag, uh, there's a new ice house on the island that's uh, right next door to my place, very conveniently. Wow. So, so it's get ice down, and so then we, they'll yeah, we just take it home. Nice. Then when you get back to Sedro's Kayak Fishing uh, headquarters there on the island, you, your guys will fillet and and package the fish and freeze it to take home. Uh, never freeze. Never freeze. Yeah, okay. no, I I, w I only you know we use the Yeti coolers and I only bring it back fresh. Like oh. we're eating it. Um, if you're on like a longer trip, like we're sharing it with the people on the island because there's I have a lot of families that like fish, so we're sharing sure. it, eating as much as we can. And then the last couple of days of the trip is when I'm like putting it in seal meal bags and uh, still keeping it in the fridge though. That way. You're coming home with fresh fish, and then you have the opportunity to freeze it. If I freeze it on the island, yes, one, it doesn't really taste great anyway. Um, and then, you know, now if it defrosts, like, you've got to kind of eat yeah. it right away. And so, fish is always better when it sits for two or three days it, anyway. It kind of is. Or you know, yeah. So you're bringing it home, like, you've got another four or five days to enjoy it fresh. Yeah, absolutely. Easily. I mean, absolutely. easily. Absolutely. And then I use the Traeger as well, and we smoke a bunch of it and enjoy that. While oh, we're, that's, that, that's that, killer. It is. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Come on, island, Jeff. Man. Oh, yeah. It's, wow. We had that so. tuna jerky. Oh, yeah. Can it get any better, Jeff? Come good, on. Good stuff. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. All right, let's find out what's biting in the Baja. Let's do it. And the Catch Report is sponsored by Fisherman's uh, Processing in San Diego. Looking for a last-minute Christmas gift? Check out Fish Pro's Holiday Grub Packs. Uh, gift. Box and ready to go, ready to give. And uh, there's a three pack for twenty dollars, six pack for uh, sixty dollars. And that's uh, a nine pack. Oh, a nine pack. Yeah, Excuse me. Yeah, like bucks. hello. How yeah. can you be like? I want to jump in and buy that for myself. Regularly a seventy-two dollar value. Right, and they'll ship it for you. So uh, you can go to Liberty Station, pick it up right there. Or Check out uh, fishmansprocessing.com. Yeah, probably the best thing to do is just go to, you know, it's a little late to At ship. this point. Yeah, right? if you want a gift, and this is a great gift. These these rubs are just like, you try them, you will love them. Just go to their Liberty Station location, um, uh, 
sometime before Christmas and just pick up one of the three packs or one of the the nine packs, and they have other other things there, fresh fish and everything. So but just that, go right there to that Liberty Station location, and it's right across from where Stone Brewery is and the the, the marketplace and stuff. It's easy to find. You'll you'll love it. With that discount, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I want yeah. to get that for myself. Yeah, yeah. it's all gift wrapped and ready to go. You're ready to go. Hey, gas man. Good morning. Hey, Feliz Navidad, everybody. Feliz, Feliz Navidad, Navidad, amigo. Feliz Año Nuevo. Hey, Pete, uh, I've got a little problem, man. Maybe you can help me oh, out. Oh, what's up, Cass? <laughs> I didn't get any fish reports this week. I think the guys oh, are off early. Uh, yeah. Doing their think, holiday thing. Man. You think they're holiday in it? Yeah? Yeah. I'm going, I, you know, I'm looking at my emails, and I'm going, where are my boys? <laughs> well, it's Guadalupe <laughs> Reyes right now. Guadalupe oh, Reyes. Yeah. That's a, that's <laughs> a big party <laughs> time, yeah. So, anyway, um, since we don't have really much to talk about, uh, we can talk about uh, the Loretto trip uh, in May, Pete. I yes. think that'd be a, a good one. Yeah, I was yeah. talking to those people down at the that at the beautiful hotel that we're going to be staying at down there this week, and uh, La Mission. Man, I cannot wait to go back to Loretto, Cass. Yeah, you know that's such a such a good time in May. You know, especially for the yellowtail. I mean, you know that's. Uh, you know, you get those, uh, I think, 25, 30, 35, they're occasional 40-pounder, you know. Oh, yeah. And, uh, of course, it's a good time for Cabrilla. A lot of Cabrilla at that time and uh, yeah. also the Pargo. So that uh, it's a good time of year to be there. And uh, Great we weather good time. Group. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I'm going to sign off early today because I don't want to take up your time. you got a good show going. So hey. everybody have a wonderful Merry Christmas. And, uh, Pete, I'll talk to you next Saturday. Cass, if somebody wants to go on that Loretta trip, of course, on letstalkhookup.com, we have it listed on our trips page on letstalkhookup.com. It's a bargain price. You can fish either two or three days on a ponga, right? Two per room, oceanfront room, two per ponga, and uh, we have a welcome party. It's it's going to be a great time, and I think you said that rooms were going pretty quickly, right? Yeah, I think I've got four rooms left out of the allotment they gave That's me. It? And uh Whoa. And um but anyway, yeah, and I've got to mention too, Pete, there's some good airfare, especially out of Tijuana on Aero Calafia. Yep. On um, their non stop flights, you know, going C B X. Yeah, I already booked there. mine. It's it's pretty inexpensive too, less than two hundred and fifty bucks. Round yeah, trip. Got, Round trip. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and you're in an hour and twenty minutes you're in Loretto. Yeah, and the Alaska fare is pretty good too, Pete, out of L.A. I think uh, I used the uh, buddy pass uh, for myself and the uh, my buddy is going with me. Uh, I think we paid like two twenty with the buddy pass, so wow. it's pretty good, pretty good price. Yeah. So you want to go with us to Loretto in mid-May? Great time. How do we find you, Cass? May nineteen to twenty-three. Give me a call to Cass Tours at eight hundred five nine three sixty five ten. Or check us out on the web at www.casttours.com, and I'll talk to you guys next Saturday. All right. Merry Christmas to you, Castman, and you and the family, and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks a lot for everything. Thank you, guys. Take care. Appreciate that. One line open on each side, 858-457-1090 or 877-792-1090. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have a Maryland from Point Loma. Do you know somebody from Maryland? Uh You you, you know a Maryland, by the way, uh, Chris? Uh, I don't know. Uh, good morning, Marilyn. Hi, good morning. Yeah. And now it says here. How ready is? Who is who is this, Chris? I, is this, I think it's this Chris's wife, <laughs> right? Yes, Chris is my husband, and I have two quick comments, or well, comment and a question. One is, first of all, I've gone with Jeff Mariani and his family to Cedros. It's spectacular. It's really lovely. They're wonderful people. But the other thing is it's not difficult. I'm really short, okay? I'm like five feet. Uh, it's not difficult to get out of the ponga into the kayak, and wow, the ge- geology is fabulous. It's gorgeous. But one quick question. How many rods is enough rods? Yeah! <laughs> there is no such thing, in my opinion. If you're Chris, looking, sure. yeah, well, if you're going with Chris. You've got to have one more rod. You always have to have one more. And the last cast. Right? <laughs> and the last cast. I have to tell you a quick story. Uh, uh, my wife and I were in British Columbia uh, in a remote area on a lake fishing. She turns to me. She says, how many rods do you have at, at the house? And I said, I don't know. And she said, I bet you... Ten thousand dollars, you have over a hundred, and I thought, uh oh, <laughs> what's this about? Turns out that our younger son 
had counted how many rods oh. he had. And, of course, he didn't know there were some closed cabinets that also had some oh. rods. <laughs> but, but I wouldn't bet her because she sounded you knew too better. confident. Yeah, yeah, good good idea. How many rods... Uh, how many rods is enough, Corey? Uh, you know, I just... Corey Sandin residence. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I just... To me, they're like a hammer, right? I mean, I yeah. just... Hang on a second. We shouldn't be going there. Yeah. <laughs> right? you got to have one more. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Nothing like wrong. Like surfboards. You, get, you know. That's what I mean. Like a carpenter with a, with a hammer, you know? Come well, on. How many do I got in my car? Right. Yeah. Well, Marilyn, thanks for putting up with our buddy and letting him go fishing with us. Merry Christmas, Marilyn. Thank you for the comments. <laughs> Sure. Oh, Looking so forward to seeing you, May. The call this Sounds morning. like a sweetheart, Chris. Yeah, for sure. All right, that does free up. 877-792-1090. Let's jump into it, Corey. Let's do it. Scott, Scott from San Diego. Welcome to the show this morning. Good morning, Scott. Thanks for joining us on Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? Great. I was calling to ask about, uh, for going on with Cedro Sport Fishing, if they could talk about what the trip looks like from start to finish. Like how many days of fishing and the fish processing and all of that, and if uh, the guys at Salty Crew could talk about how they got started since they're just rising in so much popularity. Couple pretty good questions, Scott. Yeah. So Cedro's kayak fishing. Tell us about the program. Yeah, so uh, a basic trip, like a four dayer, uh, on our new program now will be uh, three days of fishing. You know, we'll fly down early in the morning, 7 a.m. departure on the island by 10, fishing right away that day, uh, wherever we want to go. And uh, then all day Either Saturday. Either on kayak or ponga. Yeah, yeah, what, okay. whatever the group wants to do. Um, Staying in your stay, private Everybody stays at our there. place. Yeah, everything's included. It's, yeah, everything's Staying included. with your crazy uncle. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you get your own bedroom, AC in the bedroom. Nice. You know, we have a whole house filter system. It's a beautiful so, house. You know, it's a, it's a comp. I guess we can call it a compound, a compound now because yeah. the walls are up all the way around. So. Yeah. Then two days of fishing um, after that. Two full uh, days of fishing Absolutely. After that. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Whenever, you know, most groups, like we wake up 5 a.m. That way we're on the water, you know, traveling by 6, usually Punta Norte or Pierre the Colorado, you know, by 7, you know, nice hour drive somewhere. And then hard fishing all day, making lunch um, on the boat. Fresh sandwiches, like we don't pre-make anything in the morning, really. Like we, the ladies uh, prep everything for us, like slice all the tomatoes, onions, lettuce, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and then the lunch meets, everything is off to the side. And then Christian or um, Ramon was even making the sandwiches for us this year. You know, nice. we prepare nice fresh sandwiches, and you either get in the ponga and eat, or sometimes we barbecue on the beach, you know, and we all go ashore even with our sandwiches. So, um and then fish processing, like I said earlier, like no frozen fish leaves our place ever. Like we uh, either smoke it and you take home smoked fish and fresh fish that you do what you want at your house, like sushi or, um, you know, prepare it, freeze it yourself if you want. Um, and uh, that's basically it. You know, so really back, you're, no only gone rates, for, nothing. you're only gone for three days, three, for three yeah, nights. Yeah, like a Friday to nights. Monday. Yeah, Friday to Monday you could trip do a now. whole weekend, yeah. Yeah, really nice. Friday anyway. morning, come back Monday morning. Yeah, yeah. Monday you're, afternoon. You're back around here by one one thirty yeah. in the afternoon. So you're if you need to be in LA, you're there in an hour. Yeah. Uh, you and know, you'll custom Diego's make in. trips too where you have space available for yeah, people. Absolutely, right? yeah. If you have your own group, like we, I like to do whatever you know. Like I get a lot of information daily on the island, um, like through the tackle shop and things like that, and just all the other. Sure, boats you that also are out have Cedro's tackle. Exactly. So, yeah. um, like I. You know, when we're sitting at dinner that night, like I'm talking to the group and saying what I think is going to be super fun because I'm fishing too. Like I'm not just sitting around. Like I'm yeah. out there with everyone. I'm I'm the only owner on the island that's there out there in the boat every single day with everybody fishing and making it like, like hands on, on. Like absolutely one hundred percent, totally like, occasionally yeah. catching a, a world record broomtail grouper. You know, once in a while, right? Yeah. That, can definitely happen down there. Yeah. <laughs> it happened to you. It and I saw the, me, so. saw the pictures of the Wahoo, too. I mean, you actually oh, yeah. hooked a few. And, and Oh, yeah, we hooked them on the kayak this year. Uh, and, you know, we just we didn't know that we that's what we were hooking, so we were losing them pretty fast. And once we figured it out, we never got another great opportunity on the kayaks, but we had plenty of Ponga opportunities and pretty awesome. several fish. So crazy, days, right? So. Yeah. It is. It's, it is it's crazy. A great, it's a great adventure. Yeah. No, highly Part recommend. of the thing that you – that's not coming through is that this is not like a planned thing. You, Jeff always says this. We go down there and we find out what the island's providing. Not, not planned in a good way. Yeah. Right. In a good it's, way. It's not regimental. Like we'll be, we, we flew down there with every intention of catching calicos. 
Well, 60 tuna later, I mean, we our first night, we caught 60 tuna. We were letting it. We, it was on baskets. Yeah. 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 It was insane. The <laughs> on everything. Yeah. You threw anything in the water, it got bit. But then that night, we're hanging out in his garage, all getting ready for the next day, planning what the island's going to offer you. Ah, it's, it's so like awesome. Calico fishing or yeah. go yellowtail fishing. Yeah. I mean, you can catch... You know, fish of a lifetime every single minute you put a, a yeah. put your line. You know, we're moving around a lot slower, I guess. You know what I mean? Taking our time and like we sure. always have episodes. It's ridiculous. And know. it sounds so the way Ron's laying it out. I mean, it just sounds so cool to be on the island with Jeff and his family and and the people you have working for you. Or it sounds like the same people that you've had oh, every they're year. Great. They're great guys. I, mean, it's I expected stuff to I get go done. catch calicos, and then you know, uh, I think that that day I, I had caught up. 25 pound yellowtail and then jeff goes well we should go back up to the harbor they're now catching dorado we pulled up on a giant patty and both chris and i were on dorado within minutes yeah it was, right. it's just awesome. so it's so neat it's so, so cool different. and so maximum of four people you so you could yourself and three of your buddies exactly could go if you wanted exactly. to, or you can go one join one of the open party trips. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You be friends with all these guys afterwards. Yeah. I mean, we all we're all in this together. So. I, yeah. I have kind of an off the wall question, Jeff, sure, and sure. It, it's not totally off the wall, but fly fishermen are are kind of you know that kind of individual that want this kind of attention, and they want that kind of like I can just imagine the beach fishing, I can imagine the tailored. Ponga or kayak style for a fly fisherman. This sounds like a dream. So Seriously. this new Ponga that I built, nine foot front deck, and it's the sh- the shape of the boat. It's kind of like lower to the water. It would be a fly fisherman's dream, like just the open deck. I'm I'm excited. I want. So you can take a fly fishing group if you want. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to try to reach out to some of those guys. I mean, I bet it would be the bass fishing especially. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know if we should reach too. out anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, wait, 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 he had a salty crew thanks question, for, didn't thanks he? For, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, so, have a salty so, crew so, question? So salt, the salty yeah. crew, how did it get started? I know it's a... They were uh, they were a, screening shirts in my garage. Hayden Hayden and Jared came up with this idea. These are his sons, Hayden yeah. and Jared. And, uh, a, a total Southern California born and raised yeah, style of clothing. You no, know, one minute they're crunching mussels on the dock and back, catching you know spotted bay bass off the dock and back. Next minute they're surfing. And then the next minute we're fishing, so it's just they grew up with this, and that 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 fun thing about San Diego is there's so many epic guys, guys that are so cool that invented stuff, and they see this all the time, and so they wanted to do kind of like a little bit of legacy, a little bit of honor to these old guys, like these divers, and I mean, Perdonovich, and you know. Yeah, there's I mean, so, there's a lot of local things yeah, that happen. So much. So they stuff. grew up around these guys, and they love it. So much good stuff. When we come back, we're going to talk more with Jeff Mariani from Cedros Kayak Fishing, Ron Lane from Fast Lane Kayaks, and, of course, your phone calls, get catch reports. A lot more here on Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice on the Mighty 1090. Turner's Outdoorsman, Southern California's number one shooting, hunting, and fishing tackle retailer since 1971 is right in your neighborhood. Now 19 stores and more to come throughout Southern California. No one does it better. Turner's Outdoorsman brings you the best prices and selection, plus a knowledgeable staff that will help make your day on the water or in the field more fun. Stop by your neighborhood Turner's Outdoorsman. To find the location nearest you, check the web at turners.com and sign up for special deals and more. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at BuyFordNow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. You know, a place they're always biting, especially this time of the year, is Point Loma Seafoods right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. I'll tell you what. 
I was in Point Loma Seafoods the other day. They had such an array of fresh fish. I couldn't decide. Couldn't decide between the local, beautiful local halibut they had. I'm telling you, we've had some fantastic Pacific grouper that they have there. Uh, you know, everything is fresh and everything is delicious at Point Loma Seafoods right now. And, of course, lunch. Everybody has a favorite. I know I love the crab cake sandwich. What about you, Corey? Well, I love the squid sandwiches. Ron was talking about the family enjoying the upper deck. Oh, Getting man. lunch, enjoying the upper deck. Hey, what better to get the Christmas party started than with uh, some ceviche and house-made chips? Yeah, oh, the ceviche. Yeah, Ron, Ron Lane likes that. <laughs> yeah, we went. the whole family went up there, and we were just having that ceviche, and then we'd walk the, the boardwalk with all the boats coming in and the different shops. It's, it's, it's a happening thing. It is. Great it's thing to do for the family. View. And you talk about great holiday party trays. Nobody does it like Point Loma Seafoods right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. Hey, this is Rosie with Cedro Sport Fishing. Cedro's Island is considered the yellow tail and calico bass fishing capital in the world, and nobody does it better than Cedro Sport Fishing. We are committed to providing first-class service to our guests, as well as an unforgettable fishing experience. We have made a good thing even better. We now have a direct flight departing to the CBX in San Diego. Leave home in the morning and fish in the afternoon. We have a beautiful waterfront lodge with first-class accommodations and meals. What are you waiting for? Call me at 619-772-7570 or check out sadosportfishing.com. Book soon. Trips are going fast. A few years ago, Shimano introduced the Tranks 500 Reel, and it changed the way we cast for big fish. Now, by popular demand, Shimano has created two new sizes, introducing the Tranks 300 and 400, available now at your local Shimano dealer. Tranks is the dream reel for throwing big baits and catching big fish. X-Ship and HEG technologies combine to provide massive cranking power with a smooth, effortless retrieve. Plus, Shimano's new Core Protect water resistant technology provides long lasting durability in the harshest environment. The new Tranks 300 and 400 are available in two gear ratios and two different handle designs to cover all fresh and salt water applications. See the new Tranks 300 and 400 at your local Shimano dealer. Tranks, it's not just a new reel, it's a weight of fish. Check Shimano.com for all the details. All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. We're having a fun time in studio. Yeah. Please. Hey, I want to say uh, congratulations finally to the Port of San Diego for opening the Lawn Tramp in Shelter Island yesterday. Come on. Yes. May of 2017 is when they started the project. So what's that? A little over a year and a half. Uh, you, of, you failed to mention us this morning. Yeah. So Ron and I toured. We were it's out impressive. In yesterday and we went in, in, in the Lawn Tramp on their boat and went inside and toured around it they did a nice job it's a beautiful i yeah. mean and i like the way that's boat management and the way you can yeah. launch and then get over to that dock be, behind the it's not a break wall anymore it yeah and, so and, much and more room. can accommodate like twice the number of boats in in there the uh, the lawn tramp is not necessarily wider but it just has more space there's just and the more dock space everything about it is just that much better Deserves like confetti in a party, man. Yeah, like, and boy, you on. talk about the. No well, we were kind of torn. Oh my <laughs> right? God! You should have seen the parade of hoopers going out last night after oh, lunch. Boy. Yeah. Oh there yeah, there it is. Oh yeah. So <laughs> shelter on lawn tramp finally back open. I know right. Everingham Brothers Buck is going to be very, They're very, be very happy. <laughs> yeah, yes, indeed, for sure. Let's go ahead and jump back on the phone, Corey. Let's do it. Let's talk to uh, Dan. Dan's calling from Encinitas. Good morning. Welcome to Stock Hookup, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hey, good morning, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, my question is for Corey, Auntie, and Ron. Corey, is there a way to get your hands on live bait down there? And Pete, is there room on the Islander? And Ron, do you rent kayaks for that Islander trip? Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so here here we go. So first of all, uh, for Jeff Mariani, Sedros Kayak Fishing, is there live bait there? Uh, definitely live bait. Yeah, yeah, definitely live bait. Live mackerel, sardine. Um, there's even anchovy around a lot of times. So and uh, and mackerel. Oh yeah, lots yeah. of mackerel. Lots yeah, of lots of mackerel. So if you want to slow and, troll or you yeah, do what you yeah. want to do for a huge yellow, you can yeah. you can jig up a few mackerel. Yeah. Oh, what I, what and, I like to do is send my guys out in the morning, like when we're going to be flying in, and that way, it's like you know, try to save us that hour and make as much bait as they can. I have two receivers. I keep you know just outside the harbor. You're now. kidding me. They, they, no, this no, just no. keeps getting like. <laughs> yeah. I thought the icing was already on the cake. It just right, keeps here's the icing. <laughs> All those new boats you bought have brand new V2 version two bait tanks from Hobie. 
Wow. They're awesome. Yeah, those so, are awesome. So I guess the the question here is all the kayaks that are there are part of the deal. It's part of the furnishing of – Most definitely. Yes, there it is. Everything. Yeah. Right. Right. So Spiders. you mentioned our, our Islander kayak trip on the Islander. Uh, it, the date is set now. We actually have a firm date. We had to move it because we conflicted with the Cedros kayak fishing trip. It is going to be leave Tuesday, 8 p.m. on June 11th, fish Wednesday, the 12th, and then we're back at 7 a.m. on the 13th of June. Uh, cost is same as last year, 425 includes all your food. Uh, it does not include your kayak and your gear. But if you want to rent a kayak from Fast Lane Kayaks, Ron? Yep, we'll probably have 10 like we did last year, and they're 100 bucks to rent a right. kayak. Okay, and, and that's and fully outfitted. Yeah, that's, that's ready to go. And if well, you, it doesn't, it's not going to have a fish finder. No, no fish but, finder. No radio, no fish finder. Right. You have to bring your own VHF radio if you want one. But um, the 100 bucks, if you decide to buy the kayak, it comes right off the price. Of you'll the apply that to sure. the Sure. To the price of the car. How sweet yeah. is that? So, I mean, and, if, you'll, and you'll pick up and deliver it. Well, yeah, we, we, we bring them down to the dock, yeah. and then they'll be loaded on the boat. On so the that, boat. that crew on the Islander is just awesome. And those guys crew. are just moving those boats they around so fast. such amazing. I know Chris Minnick will be there. I know I'll be there. I'll be I think there. Sure, Jeff's going to be there. Gonna be there. Yeah, uh, Corey. Sounds like I'm the only one you want to go here. I you know. Go? It sounds like a lot of fun. Well, I got a boat for you, Corey. Right? Yeah, it's such a... Oh, my God, it's such a great San trip. Clemente Island? Are you kidding me? In June? In June. Calico's Cal- starting to, our, their our, spawn our, thing? Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, it's going to be a good trip. Are there so, any open spots? It, I just put it online yesterday. Okay. So two ways you can book, and it's going to go very, very quickly this year, I can promise you. At our store, at letstalkhookup.com, you do go to our shop page, and you just click on the Islander. You can pay by credit card on the Islander, or... You can shoot me an email at pete at hookup1090.com and and say, I'm going to send a check, save me a spot, and uh, you can send me a check. But fastest way to do it is just to book online. But uh, if you want to email me today and say, save me a spot, I'll send you a check for $425. Um, The the price is Uh, non-refundable. Once you buy that spot, if you can't go, you are responsible for filling that spot. I'm just going to put that right out front just because simple enough. that's the way we got to do it. Yeah, it's and, so and simple enough. Generally speaking, we don't have any worries about finding a spot to fill it, but people don't bail out. So, And there's only I, – I started with 18 spots because uh, we're all, we limit to 22 people on the boat because that's all the kayaks they can take. But uh, I started with 18 spots. I know at least half of those are already spoken for. So – that means like nine spots are left. That's so crazy. You better get on it. And there's a whole day at the island. Yes. Are you kidding me? It's so much fun. Sun up to sundown. So much fun. Food actually, food. actually, Chris was probably uh, has broke my my longest I was ever in a kayak was 13 hours. It was at you know without getting out. Yes. Chris beat me. You're kidding me. How many hours? You were 16 hours in the and don't forget the long days are long there. Right? The days are very long. In June, near the solstice. It's yeah, so the longest day of the year. We're fishing sun up to sundown. So you're, got, you're in the water at 530, Chris? I would have never been able to do it if you hadn't passed me those tacos yeah. through the scupper hole. <laughs> right. But yeah, you get on the so I can stay in the kayak. Yeah. He wouldn't even get out for lunch because, oh, my gosh, were those tacos good on the Islander? They do such a good job. Like really but, good. yeah, Chris... And Chris, how old are you? I'm sorry. I, I know. I was just going to mention yeah, he's yeah, no he, spring chicken. Yeah, you know? he's like. Well, he is a spring chicken. He's just not a teenager anymore. Yeah, right? but he does pretty darn well. He's hardcore for sure. Hey, hope you can join us on that trip. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Oh, man, we, we've got another whole hour ahead of us. Ron, Hobie Kayaks, Jeff, Sadros uh, Kayak in. And, man, Chris in studio, we're having a great time. We're going to be right back, and let's talk hookup on the Mighty 1090. Fisherman's Landing has been the choice of sport fishing anglers for decades with the largest fleet of long-range boats worldwide. Complemented by Southern California's finest charter and open party fleet. Now is the time to book your long-range trips and charters, plus half-day trips aboard the Dolphin. Go to Fisherman'sLanding.com and see trip availability and even book your trip online. Stop by or call Fisherman's Landing in San Diego and book now at Fisherman'sLanding.com. It's long-range time at the Ridge and Lower Banks. Time to get your gear. Hi, this is...
is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. Big fish need big tackle, and that's why we recommend the Shimano Talica for tuna, Trinidad for Wahoo, matched with a Therese rod. Choosing the right size Talica, Trinidad, and Therese is the trick, and that's where we come in, with more experience and expertise on long-range fishing than anyone. Fisherman's Landing Tackle has the Shimano gear for your long-range trip. Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego or on the web at saltwatertackle.com. While Seaguar invented fluorocarbon fishing line in 1971, their never-ending pursuit of innovation has never stopped. They are the only company making double structure fluorocarbon, which combines two exclusive custom resins, a high-density interior for strength and sensitivity, and a softer exterior for enhanced knot strength. So for the best in fishing performance, pick up a spool of Seaguar Fluoro Premier and the original Blue Label Leader material at your favorite tackle dealer. Both are double structure fluorocarbon. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. When bad weather and rough seas send other boats back to the dock, SeaKeeper allows you to fish longer and fish harder, even in the roughest conditions. Don't believe it? Just ask those that have put them on their boat, like Captain Pete Grosbeck and other professionals. Fishing in the trough with SeaKeeper basically eliminates the trough. SeaKeeper's newest offering, the SeaKeeper 3, is optimized to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on boats between 30 and 39 feet. Even better, this gyro is so small it can fit inside a customized leaning post and operate on your current battery system, making installation fast and easy. Watch for new products coming soon. The SeaKeeper for boats. Think about it. Eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on your boat. That is a Amazing! To learn more about how Seakeeper can change your life on the water and to schedule your free demo, go to Seakeeper.com. Take a ride, be amazed. Seakeeper. It's time to get excited about fishing, and Point Loma Sport Fishing has everything you'll need. They offer half-day and three-quarter day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit their website at pointlomasportfishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available. Or call 619-223-1627. 